Hi, I'm Mallory, and if you're like so many of us that have been spending much more time at home than we're used to, you've probably done some home organizing. Am I right? I certainly have, and this week I decided to do it with my photos. This was the most fun organizing that I've had thus far because it included reminiscing about fun times and thinking about loved ones. And what I decided to do to tackle these loose photos was to use these cool photo books from my work called Pinch Books. They let me quickly pinch together photos in a snap and make a cute little flip book so I can go back whenever I want to see them again. I also placed a couple of my favorites aside for a second project, which I will talk about later. Then I just grabbed a pinch book, opened up the spine, and slid in the photos. Done! Did you catch how quick that was? Just five seconds to make a photo book is unheard of with those slide-in pockets and certainly with scrapbooking. And what I really love about these photo books is that if I decide to get real creative down the line, I can come back and edit them as many times as I want. So depending on how bored I am when I finish the spaces in my home, I may come back to these and decide to organize them a different way. And now onto that second project I mentioned. I also got some of these cool photo block panels so I can make new displays for around the house and send some to family. They are peel and stick, which is so fast and easy to do, so you can even enlist the help of your kids, and not really need anything special to do it right. Just an X-Acto knife and something to protect your table is all that's really needed. I'm going to use a piece of old foam board. To make them, I just placed my block down, peeled off a corner of the liner, pressed on my photo once it was aligned, and then began to peel the rest of the liner while pressing the photo down as well. There are bigger blocks where you may want to use some more professional tools, but I'm pretty happy with my centering abilities, so for this size, I just did it by eye, and I used a spoon to smooth out the edges. Once you're done, flip the block over, and then trim the edges with your knife. They have these holes on the back that make it easy to hang up on the wall, as well as a cute little screw-in kickstand so you can stand them up for display as well. Both of these photo tools are great for surprise gift as well. Just pop them in the mail and send them to your loved ones that you maybe haven't been able to see as often as you would like. So that's what I did when I dove into my box of disheveled photos. And now I can go back to my clean, organized solution without getting that anxiety that's traditionally associated with a bunch of loose, random papers. I hope you enjoyed these cool, quick DIY photo products and that you can use them in your own home to organize your photos. You can get them at findme101.com, which I will link to in the description below. They come in a huge variety of colors as well as a huge variety of sizes. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe out there.